I'm Darren with the Cougar Strides Wellness Committee here at WNCC and today uh, I want to spend a couple of minutes talking to you about oats, specifically overnight oats. Uh, we all know that oats are really good for us in terms of reduced LDL and total cholesterol levels. Um, they're good if you're suffering from you know some skin irritation, they can help alleviate that. They're full of fiber and they can help you on a weight loss journey if you're on one because they're so filling. Okay, so um, there are lots of great health benefits with oats and I would encourage you to dig deeper uh, and just to see uh, the real benefits uh, for yourself. Um, and so just a couple of basic notes. I love using these ball jars, uh, ball or mason jars, and you can get them pretty much anywhere with these awesome reusable lids. So that's what I prefer to use. And in terms of ratio, we're going to start with, you know, equal parts milk and equal part oats. I am using a half a cup in the recipes that I'm going to show you today. That might be a little bit much for you. So feel free to go down to about a third a cup or as much as two thirds of a cup if you've got a real a healthy appetite, okay? Um, and also I would encourage you to read the label with your oats, okay? Because in oats obviously are naturally gluten-free, but they're processed in facilities that also process rye, barley, and wheat. So you want to make sure if you have gluten issues that you're reading your labels, all right? Now, these Quaker oats do not have a gluten-free label on them, just as an FYI. And also, when you're making your oats, if you want to add a little bit of depth to that flavor, I would suggest a quarter to a teaspoon of vanilla extract in the mixture, keeping in mind that vanilla extract Pure is about 35% alcohol, and we are not going to cook these, okay? They're out of the refrigerator. Just keep that in mind. So three uh, fun little recipes that I'd like to share with you today. This one's a nice, simple one. This here um, is just one part oat milk, one part oats, and then I've added a half of a sliced banana and a couple of tablespoons of dark chocolate chips. Delicious, all right? This one here, this is great. So I've added one part oats, one part oat milk, and then to this, I've added a half a cup of pumpkin puree, a big heaping teaspoon of cinnamon, I love cinnamon, a tiny pinch of clove, a tiny pinch of nutmeg, and these are pumpkin spice overnight oats. Delicious. And this one right here, what we've done is we've used Greek yogurt instead of milk, which will give you a richer, creamier texture, of course, and an extra shot of protein. And I've added the juice of one whole fresh lime, and some graham cracker crumbs for key lime overnight oats. So I hope that you picked up some good ideas and that you'll give these oats a try on your own. You can keep these in the refrigerator for three or four days. I probably wouldn't go more than that. And uh, if you have a favorite recipe for overnight oats, drop it in the comments below. We would love to check it out. And so on behalf of the Cougar Strides Wellness Committee, I'm Darren. Thanks for watching.